so up to here I'll finish the design of the stairs and now we will just pause the architectural phase because the rest of it is just detailing and then joining the different parts and dimensions and so on so which you already know how to do so now we'll progress to the structure and work that project but if we need to we'll come back and work on the architectural level again but as i said we don't really need to because you know all of the steps and if you have any questions you can certainly ask me using telegram or email whichever way that you can but for now we'll make a telegram group so you can ask all of your questions there so you can get over your issues and then learn the process as well as possible so now we want to do the structure together let me just open up the bim file all right here it is just make sure to check your file before we progress based on the bp that we work together on let me just open the bp file that we had so we can take a look at it it's a word file let me see let me see which part or which topic it is it's not here not the priority it's right here it's the priorities of modeling so the first step is a check of the, all of the files that are presented by the contractor and when you're checking the file you will surely find an issue or two in the process and after you found the issues you should address them to the counselor so you need to send all of your issues to the counselor in an attachment file so they can deal with them and as i've said you can gather all of your files that you have that are related to the project and the modeling and then you can upload them in a folder that you can create in the cloud drive right here so you'll upload the files here and create a link so that the contractor and the counselor can actually take a look at them and address the issues so this is one method of handling it and if you don't want to do that you can go down the route of alternative methods that i will mention but for now i think i should mention that i think the cloud drive is an excellent option that can satisfy all of your issues and demands let me just put this here but if you really don't want to do that we can also use a blue beam review as well so for example let me see how i can come up with an example so here i can go to the autocad file and then here i can hit ctrl p let me close this window all right we open this one here from this menu i can select dwg pdf let me see what we have here i have to measure this it's let me see about 840 by 540 maybe all right so let me hit ctrl p here again close this one and from this menu select dwg pdf again and then from this menu down here i'll select the a1 option that we have this one then check the center box here then put this on windows then select from this point to here all right and there we go so here i'll select landscape then apply to layout all right excellent so we'll just create a plot file for this and let me see let me choose a destination for it and then i have to put in the name let's see all right i'll name it this and then save all right so then we need to install the blue beam review app and then we can open it like this and then using this you can put your comments here 
therefore you can address your issues much easier although one problem that it has is that it doesn't support Persian fonts but when you're working with an international organization or company it's not hard to use English a bit here and there so any place that you see any errors or issues popping up you can put in your comments or if you're working a team project you can go here and create an account in the Bluebeam studio and then you can log in so like this on this window that pops up you can put in your email and then the password to log in let me just type mine and then I'll check the box that says keep me signed in and then in this area we have some sort of a cloud or CDE space that you can upload your files and then you can collaborate with other designers and contractors as well which can be really helpful to us let me just go here and create a new project and I'm going to name it BIM structural file okay and then after that we just have to give it a bit time so it can create the project and after it's created you can find it here and then from this part you can put in any folders that you want for example i'll create this and then i'll name it plan and the plan folder that we've created is right here so here you can click on this option and create a project invitation and then using this you can type in the emails of the people you want to invite but they must have created an account in the bluebeam site as well and then they get the invitation so they can see the file or be present during your project instead of email you can also use ids so i'll click on ok here and then i'll close this and then i'll right click on this and select upload files cancel from here because i want to upload one file i'll click on upload file again and then i'll go to the destination that we put the pdf file in let me just look for it so i can find it let's search here for pdf so it's not here then let's see there we go open it up so now the file is uploaded here and it's in the cloud drive let me click on it so i can open it up so i'll close this one as well now so here when you open up the file like this it's locked and you can't really change it but from this revision history menu you have to unlock it so you can use the tools to change it and then when you have any issues or any collisions that you see might happen in the file you can use this foo and then create this and then here you can see the problem or just write the name of the problem for example here we'll put in problem one and then all of these will be added in this section here like this let me close this so you can see the problem one in the comments here or if you don't have a problem you can just highlight any part that you want that you feel it's important you can use this and then it's saved here and then you can sort them through the menu here for now let me save the file right click here and there we go so here i'll go in the plan and update this using this option and then the people that we've added or invited here have access to this and then they can leave their own comments or discuss the issues and then we have a sort of a live space here that we can collaborate inside and we have a sort of a real-time event which we actually don't get to see in the cloud here because firstly you need to upload the file and then the 
collaborators upload their files and then you continue from there so up to this point we've discussed how you can check your file and if you see any issues you can make comments on it so you can fix them later on and the positive point about this is as i've already mentioned you need to make sure that you get the file for the structure and the planning on a cd or a dvd especially with the stamp or seal of the organization or the team that you're working with or if you have a contractor they can just sign it just make sure to get the file on a dvd and not a flash because you will have issues later on because when you first get the plan here it's actually quite a neat design but when you actually assess it and get to work you'll find the issues and so it's better to check the file before you progress and another important point is this chart that i've created for you make sure to use it properly you can add to the elements and the material that we have here and you need to make sure that you associate each element with their correct LODs. You need to make sure to do these steps so that the organization or a contractor doesn't come up with any false expectations or demands and you actually don't give in any file that has any faults. So doing this will increase the quality of your work and it also shows your professionalism and it overall impacts the level of trust that it is in the beam program which affects the whole market and so on so in the next part we'll discuss the structure